Who took the bomb? Hi, I'm NIU Steam's Kate Powers. I sent my friend Sam an email about the Husky hack. Let's go see what kind of ideas he has. Hey, Sam. Kate, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so excited to share what I have. I saw your email. I had to jump right in. Okay, what kind of ideas do you have? All right, so first up, my personal favorite, the Forksaw 5000. Uh, it, it, don't worry about the other 499, but this way you can eat and saw things at the same time. Okay, that's not quite what I was thinking when I emailed sure, you. Sure, sure, and so if you ever think about what happens to your resume after you give it to an employer, want to know more. They will always know who you are and what you do. Called a CV03. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. That's not quite the hack that I was thinking of. Right, right, right. Did you know that people waste over two minutes every morning brushing their teeth? Waste? I don't know yeah, if I would waste. call that a waste. You can brush your teeth and eat breakfast at the same time. What's on that bagel? It's Just a bunch of toothpaste. No, no, kind of like this. Wait, wait, wait. Like, oh, toothpaste. Oh, God, Sam. I am the king of life hacks. I'm talking about the Husky Hackathon Com using computer science, Com not computer. life hacks. Hacks. It's for any students who might be interested in computer activism or social activism. They come here to campus and they work together to hack a solution to an everyday problem in their life. But I don't know anything about computer hacking. That's okay. You can come and we'll help you learn how to hack while you're at the Husky Hackathon. There'll be university mentors and industrial experts who are there to answer all sorts of students' questions. So even if you don't have a lot of experience with hacking, you can still come and join the Husky Hack. I'll be there. But first, laser guided coffee mug. No, please, Sam, don't! I'm a